Well, it's applied physics turn for a little while. Um, and uh, the first item on our agenda is um, our student speaker, uh, Yijing Huang. Uh, Yijing grew up in a small coastal city in the southeast of mainland China. She went to Beijing for college in 2016. Yijing obtained her bachelor degree in physics from Tsinghua University. She then came to Stanford to do research on non-equilibrium states of matter using ultrafast X-ray scattering advised by Professor David Reese in the Applied Physics Department. Please welcome Yi Jing. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm glad to see that we further the pandemic together and we can physically gather here and enjoy this wonderful moment. Congratulations to every graduate for accomplishing a substantial achievement in your life. Before I started my PhD, I was already aware that this academic journey is usually a difficult experience. What I did not know was that everyone's experience adds a different flavor to that difficulty. So I hope every graduate sitting here is feeling super proud of yourself because your difficulty was unique and you solved it in a unique way. We, the class of 2020, 2021, and 2022, are a special class because we successfully came out on the other side of the pandemic. I believe those years are tough for many of you and probably a bit more so for the experimentalists among us. You might not be able to perform experiments during the pandemic year, which might have negatively impacted you as you grew into senior PhD at that time. Some of us experienced isolation during the quarantine, which was challenging for those that already suffered mental health issues at different levels. I deeply empathize with you as I suffered from both a dearth of experiments, which I thought at that time led to a missing part of my PhD training, as well as mental health problems. But towards the end of my PhD, I obtained different perspectives and was able to see some upsides of the lifestyle brought by the pandemic. Those years changed the way we communicate and created spaces for more accessible communication. We used to need to book conference rooms, but now we have the alternative to simply create Zoom links. Once I was surprised to get a Zoom call request from the journal editors, as they wanted to understand several aspects of my paper. I was upset when one of the editors started by saying that he almost trashed my paper after reading the first three words. <laughs> but eventually, we got to exchange our thoughts frankly and efficiently, and that turned out to be helpful for both sides. The experience of the pandemic might have also given us more willingness to understand and empathize with others and the better awareness that there are people who need our support. I believe every one of you has a different take on the last year of 2020 and maybe part of 2021. But I hope the ups and downs of your PhD journey strengthen you so that you have the eye to see the positive sides of things as you head on to solve different types of problems in the future and that you have the power to turn grief into joy and bring it to others. The PhD is an important stage of life when I tested, destroyed, and rebuilt my faith in physics and many other things. The faith that probably all of us chose when we decided to pursue a PhD was that physics works. There are unchanging rules to it and that we are able to find these rules. But in the middle of my PhD, I started to develop the feeling that physics worked for everybody else except for me. <laughs> and that there were no rules governing the data that I collected. <laughs> in the end of my PhD, I learned that physics still works and there are still rules that govern everything, but I may not be able to understand all of them. Some of the rules I can figure out in the years of my PhD 
Some of them I need to store in the back of my mind and wait for the right time to tackle in the future. And some of them I will never understand. I believe many of you shared a similar experience. During these years, we reassessed ourselves and asked, who are we? What do we really care about? I beg everyone, please do not stop thinking about these two questions, because the one day when we could reconcile who we are, what we believe, and what we can do, we are going to enjoy a fuller freedom of life. Today is a day we celebrate our own achievements. It is also a time to express our gratitude to those who accompanied us and supported us along the journey. And it is also time to think about how you can use your skills, knowledge, and vision to solve problems that trouble the world in the next chapter of your life. But let's defer the last part until tomorrow and just enjoy the festivities today. Congratulations again to the graduates of physics and applied physics of 2020, 2021, and 2022. Thank you.